Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can replace a face inside of GIMP. So, here we have the original face, and here we have Elon Musk's face plastered on top of that. So let's go ahead and redo this process, and maybe we'll even get a better result. So the first thing I'm going to do is import the images that we want to mesh with each other. So, here we have Elon Musk's face from Wikipedia, and this guy's face over there, along with the rest of his body. So. The first thing we're going to want to do is cut out this face so that we can actually plaster it on that person. So to do this, we're going to want to use the lasso tool and make sure that we get the important features of Elon Musk's face here uh, so that we can transplant it over there. So this would be stuff like the eyeballs, the nose, the mouths, and I would argue the cheekbone, possibly the chin area as well. So I'm going to do a rough cut here, not worrying too much about it being 100% on the nose right now, just make sure the important parts are in there. And now we can cut that, delete the original image that we're pulling from, and now we can create a new layer where we can paste the face onto. So if we move the new face over the original face, and maybe if we set some transparency, we'll get kind of an idea of where things need to be in order for it to look reasonably like the original. So I'll position the eyes roughly on top of each other, so before I actually start erasing here, I'm going to duplicate the layer. Uh, well, first we have to right-click and do two new layer, and then I'm going to duplicate the layer. Uh, just so we have a backup in case we need to go back to that. So I will take this and hide it, and I will work on the visible layer, and erase some of this extra face. So now I'll increase the opacity and see kind of where we're at. Okay, now because of the direction where the original guy is looking at, we're going to want to flip this face because it's facing the wrong direction. So there's a flip tool over here. You can also hit Shift F in order to do that and just flip it across the horizontal axis. Now we can drag this face back over a little bit. Uh, you can see that the eyes don't quite line up, so we can also rotate this face. So I'm going to use the rotate tool and try to pull it in line a little bit more, about five degrees there. And let's see, if we lower the opacity down, not quite there, a little bit more. So that's looking pretty good. And now one thing we're definitely going to want to fix is that on the edges of the added face, you can see that it's really not meshing well against the original, because of course they have different uh, skin tones and textures. So two things we can do here are to change the hue. So I'm going to go up to the colors menu, hue saturation, and I'm going to change the skin tone a little bit more, I believe it was to the left to make it a bit more red, and hit OK. And now another thing we can do is use the eraser brush at a low opacity, somewhere around 25%, and we can kind of go over the areas where the skin is obviously not the same. And what we're doing here is trying to blur the different skins together. So ideally you want to do this until it's not obvious that they're two different skin textures. We can also come over here, get some of the hair back from the original face. So also Elon Musk's face over here on the left is not completely matched up against the original face. You can see that the original face stops here and Elon's face kind of pops out over here. So we're going to want, probably with something around 100% opacity, to kind of get rid of that extra face area. Now in this particular case, you could choose to keep the beard of the original by removing some of Elon's face here a little bit. Uh, or you can choose to make him go clean shave. It's kind of up to you how you want to do that. Uh, I'm going to keep the beard from the original. So to do that, I'm going to want to erase some of this area as well and try to bring that beard back. I'm just kind of cleaning up the areas which are still not overlapping quite right. Now for this area down here, there's probably some beard underneath, so I want that to show through, um, but I won't make it 100% opacity on the eraser brush. I'll put it more like 40, and I'll do it kind of incrementally here. Wanting to kind of blur the two different layers together and make it seem a little bit more realistic. Okay, now just to take a look, I'm going to boost the opacity up to 100%. And I'll hide this layer, look at the original. Hide this layer, look at the original. Okay, there's still some areas up here that could use some work in terms of making it smoother. 
So I will use the eraser brush a little bit more and clean that up. Maybe a little bit on the lower forehead as well. Now, depending on how you think the new face matches up against the original face, you might say that, oh, the perspective or the angle is a little bit different. So if you want to and you think it makes it look better, two tools you can also add to this is the shear tool, which would allow you to slant a face kind of like this, further adjusting it, or the perspective tool, where if you select the new face layer, you can kind of change the angle where it's looking at a little bit. Uh, try not to go too overboard with it though. So just kind of play around, see if that makes it look better or worse. So one more thing you could see with this face is that there are, uh, I, I would guess you would say minor flaws with the face, a little bit of aging there. Uh, a tool you can use to kind of clean that up a little bit would be the smudge tool, or rather than clean it up for it specifically, you could also add in a little bit of blur if you want to remove some of this facial detail from the new face to make it a little bit smoother with the young man's face in the background. So we could say use something like smudge or blur to make it a little bit less defined and aged. If you think that makes it look better, uh, then feel free. I might do a little bit over here on the nose as well. We can also add in a little bit more eraser brush where we may have missed earlier. Just cleaning it up a little bit more. And there you go, that's how you would swap out a face inside of GIMP. I've been Chris, I hope you found this tutorial fun or a little bit helpful, and I will see you guys in my future video content.